Hi, I'm Jose Piña from eMite, and in this video I'm going to talk about the recent integration of the Android 2 wireless connectivity testset, the MT8A62A, within our system for testing WLAN 802.11ac using 2x2 MIMO. This new option provides support for receiver sensitivity and transmit power of 2x2 WLAN equipment using two Anrixu boxes working in parallel. This equipment, in combination with our E500 medium size reverberation chamber, will help WLAN equipment and users to validate RF performance in a WLAN final use environment. In this video, I'm going to test the total radiative power and the total isotropic sensitivity of a device. I'm going to use this tablet as an example transmitting and receiving over WLAN 802.11ac. But first, let's take a look at the connections. For 2x2 MIMO WLAN OTA testing, the MT8A62A units working in master slave implementation, where the master controls the slave. For that, the expansion I.O. ports of the master and slave have to be connected. Along with the 10 MHz reference signal with a BNC connector cable, from the buffer output of the master to the reference input of the slave. For remote control, the Android 2 units are connected from their Ethernet remote port to the control PC by Ethernet cables and using a hub. Finally, different IP addresses have to be assigned to the master and slave Ethernet port. Once you have these two equipment properly connected, the next step is connect uh, RF cables from the boxes to the front panel of the chamber. The software is going to tell you the proper way to do it, so let's go to the PC and configure the measurements. Open the MIMO Analyzer GUI software and click on Auxiliary Equipment. In this menu, different kind of equipment can be connected, such as base station emulators, vector network analyzers and channel emulators. In this case, click on base station emulator. The connection types available are GPIB, TCPIP and RS232. Select TCPIP and type the address and port assigned to the master unit. Click on the connect button. The software will show the RF connections from the MT8A62A units to the chamber. Once the auxiliary equipment is connected to the test system, enter the active MIMO OTA measurements option at the eMite GUI software. In this window, select the WLAN standard frequency band, bandwidth and channel to be tested. We will select WLAN AC in this example. Select also the figures of merit to be measured, TRP and TIS in this example. Enter the test configuration, double-clicking on the test budget. To configure a 2x2 MIMO transmission, go to Connection Setup. At Scenario, select MIMO. Different MIMO transmission modes are available, such as Spatial Multiplexing, Transmit Diversity, and Space-Time Block Coding. You could actually test all of them in a batch if you wish so. Click Apply to save the configuration. Set also a MIMO transmission mode for the TIS, and click again Apply to save the configuration. Click Next to see a summary of all tests depicted for user confirmation. Click on Run to start the testing process. Once the auxiliary equipment is being configured and the WLAN network created, a DUT attachment window will pop up. Attaching the DUT to the network is very easy. Grab the device. Place it on the turntable inside the chamber. Look for the SSID of the network and click Connect. The attachment process is very quick and simple. Once connected, close the chamber door. Go back to the GUI software and click the RAM button. The system will collect partial measurements along different steers and turntable positions. The total number of partial measurements is defined depending on the accuracy mode selected. As the partial measurements are collected, 
the cumulative temporal average TRP value can be read in the upper right corner of the graph. After finishing a test and a warming up period, the test system will automatically start the next test in the batch. The video shows an automatic change from TRP to TIS OTA testing. As you can see, no human supervision is needed with EMI test systems when performing batch testing. In TIS measurements, the real-time red curve corresponds to the packet error rate at every decreased channel power value. As average channel power decreases, the packet error rate increases. TIS samples are taken whenever the red curve crosses the green line situated at the 10% which represents the per tiger limit. Finally, at 70%, the predefined cap line in this example, the system stops the partial running measurement and starts the next one in order to save testing time. In the right upper corner of the graph, the cumulative temporal average TIS value is calculated as any new sample is taken. Once the tests are finished, click OK and complete the device information such as name, model, project, etc. Finally, save the measurements to obtain the test report files in HTML, Excel and TXT formats. In the report file, information of the device under test and a summary of all tests can be found. For each test in the batch, the measurement details include all information related to the test, such as the standard parameter settings. Testing WLAN OTA in Signaling mode, now including 802.11ac 2x2 MIMO, has ever been easier. Check out our white papers and technical specifications at our webpage or YouTube channel and start designing your future with EMI WLAN OTA test systems. Your WLAN OTA testing wishes made true.